Ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasant good morning to our respected speaker, sir, Mr. Chandanya, respected professor, Dr. Indriji Dutta, sir, and to everyone present here. I, on behalf of Royal School of Hotel Management and Royal School of Travel and Tourism Management, it is my immense pleasure to welcome our esteemed guest speaker, respected Mr. Chandanya, Director of CN Travels, who is going to share valuable insights on the topic career in travel industry and ocean of opportunities for self-employment and startups. We are very grateful and elated to have you here with us, sir. Thank you for your precious time. Mr. Chandan Nath is a postgraduate diploma in International Passenger Fair from IDA. He is Galileo Certified Trainer for CRS Ticketing and as well as Emirates Certified Trainer for CRS Ticketing. Mr. Nath was the Vice President of Door Operators Association of Assam from 2016 till 2020. He represented um, uh, Assam before Parliamentary Committee during October 2018 at Guwahati. He created more than 500 tourism professionals presently working within India and abroad. He represented Indian delegation at any festival in Bangkok in 2019 and as well as represented Indian delegation at ITB Berlin, Germany in 2018. Mr. Nath was a resource person for Swachata Action Plan and he under Ministry of Tourism, Government of India in 2018 to 2020. Also, he was the resource person come consultant for Northeast uh, Tourism Viewpoint along with National Highways in Manipur, Mizoram, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh under Ministry of Tourism, Government of India 2022 appointed by direct, Director of IITTM. He was also the resource person for Government of Assam in World Tourism Day Seminar held at Kaziyama Assam on 27 September 2022. Currently, Mr. Nath is the founder and head of Travel, uh, CN Travels, Gohati since 20, 2006 till present. He is the founder director center for Tourism Studies, Gohati, Assam since 2013 till present, and industry partner with MOU for Tourism and Travel Management courses in Koliapur College, Naugao College, Jagirod College, Punapur Colleges, and many more under Guwahati University, Dibrugar University, Assam Downtown University, Martin Luther Christian University, IITTM Shillong, Royal Global University, Guwahati, etc. He is the advisor to Northeast Travel Trade Association since 2019 till present. In the field of travel and tourism sector, Mr. Nath's valuable contribution is indeed inspiring and influential. He represented Assam during Assam Bhutan Tourism Circuit promotion in first international roadshow held by Government of Assam at Thimpu Bhutan during October 2017. Represented Assam in Travel and Tourism Fair at Ahmedabad, Pune, and Mumbai. Also represented Assam in Outbound Travel Mart in 2019. He represented CN Travels at South Asian Travel and Tourism Exchange during April 2023. He represented India among South Asian countries at Bangladesh Tourism Promotion and B2B Exchange at Dhaka during 26 May till 30 May 2023. Mr. Nath has been awarded Business Icon Award for Outstanding Contribution in Tourism Industry by JC International in 2021. Thank you, sir, for your presence at today's seminar. You are truly an inspiration for all of us and your dedication and contribution in tourism sector and in advancing the landscape of Assam tourism is really commendable. Now, I'd like to request our respected Professor Dr. Intrajit Dutta, sir, to felicitate our respected speaker, sir. <laughs> now, I uh, would like to request our respected Professor Dr. Indrajit Dutta, sir, uh, to come and deliver his welcoming remarks. Good morning, everybody. We do have little issues of climate control, so what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are very privileged and honored that amongst us we have uh, a 
illuminatory personality from the travel and tourism industry. <coughs> Mr. Chandan Nath, sir, from CN Travels, has been associated with us for quite some time and has been training our batches in travel tourism. And let me inform you, sir, some of the people are doing really well after especially your getting your training. And uh, first year students, second semester students, are you there? Can we have your hands up, please? Raise your hands. Okay, great. Not many. Okay. Uh, it will be very valuable for you guys, especially when Sir will tell you about the career prospects in the travel and tourism industry. In fact, you know, you can do anything, anything that you have interest on, you can harp on it and probably make a profession and then ultimately a life you for you all. So without further ado, I would like to invite Chandra Dancer to please take on the stage. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Sir. It is uh, really a great privilege for me to be here with you, with this wonderful group of students. Uh, first of all, I just want to tell you something. Like, I have a PPT about career guidance, career uh, opportunities. And at the same time, I just want to interact with you individually, or maybe if you have any question regarding your future or regarding anything you want. Uh, I have started my company maybe 2006, almost 18 years back. So journey was a bit, not very long, but still, I feel like we have faced a lot of hurdles like COVID, you know, that is the major uh, hurdle we, we faced, we come across. And we are sitting here and uh, after COVID, there is a means unlimited opportunity coming up. Government of India is also taking lots of measures to boost the industry that, you know, this is the only industry right now in the world which will cater almost the major, is a major economy. But this will be the major economy for next almost 30 years, coming up 30 years. So uh, PPT maybe, it's in just a one hour or maybe 45 minutes slides. And of course, I'll, I'll share the PPT to your department and they can share it with you. But I just personally feel like I have come across so many of you. I know some known faces are there. Mm, they have been to my place. Uh, I just want you, that if you have any doubt about in your mind, then you can just open up. You can just speak to me. I'll try to find out. Just key things, certain things you have to upskill about. See, whatever the tourism or travel industry is right now facing, it's a crisis of manpower, skilled manpower. There are different, different departments are there in this, in this industry. All departments, they are looking for. Every day I used to, I can show you almost 100 messages. All over India, Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, even Guwahati to, I'd say, hundreds. Every day I used to get hundred calls. We need manpower, sir. Can you give us? And whatever, I have a very limited resources. Like only 15, 20 students I used to train up as a batch. Train up so for Galileo or maybe other uh, departments. But ultimately, just before completing the course, they get the job and they just run away. Now we are facing a lot of manpower crisis. So you have the, the next, you are the next generation. So you have to just make up your mind how to go forward with this industry. Because this industry is one of the most lucrative industry, most attractive industry I have ever seen. And uh, you know, I'm a pro tourism person, I'm just doing uh, my, I'm a passionate person, I just spend my entire time in tourism for the development of the tourism. Not only doing business, but also uh, bridging between the academy and the industry. 
whatever, whatever the industry needs and what academy is giving you. What is the gap? So that gap, I just want to find out. I have been um, appointed as POS member in many colleges and universities. So we want to change. Nowadays, you know, the new uh, education policy 2020 after this, a lot of new opportunities are coming up. <coughs> Of new um, prospects, you can see. Even government of India is also emphasizing on entrepreneurship. So, how to start your career? How to start? How to become an entrepreneur? And uh, what to do? If you want to do, if you go for entrepreneur, yes, I can tell you how to do, how to proceed. Nowadays, when we started, that time we need a lot of money. Lot of money, lots of money means that time we need around. I had invested around 10, 10 lakhs of this. But today, with zero, you can start. No need. Because company, there are lots of competition. People are ready. People are ready to give you support. If you want to do something, like if you want to start a small ticketing agency, you can start with without any investment. Only the investment is you need a computer. You need an internet connection. And of course, you have to have the basic social media promotion that, that is one of the best promotional tool right now. <coughs> you can do that. And uh, in my 18 years, I have never given any, any advertisement in any, any media, any paper, any magazine or anything, anywhere, nothing. I have not given any promotional thing, no advertisement. But till now, I'm sustaining. In case, in, in fact, it is growing. And, uh, you know, if I tell you, just before COVID, the company was maybe 2 crore. Now the company has grown up to 15 crore. This is just within the span of 2 3 years. This is because there is a big boom. And that was, I have speculated. That it is just like you know, horse racing. Horse racing. People are ready at the gate. Once the sin go, the people started moving out. And the trance is the post-COVID system. I have done my homework, in fact, that how to go forward. Because post-COVID, there will be a group of people, they will not move immediately. So I was focusing on, on a particular group. And that targeted group was in between the age below 65 or 70, those people will move out, and that I am sure. And because of that, I have seen there's a big progress, big jump, big uh, boom in the international market. Now people are traveling to international market because international travel, because it is much more cheaper than the domestic travel. Now. What are the things you need to cater this international market? You have to have the basic idea about how to make the ticketing because it is total part. You have to go for the whole whole part. Like ticketing is one part. Uh, hotel service, the accommodation service is another part. Transportation, transport, those things are another part. Then you have like uh, meet and greet service, data service. Foreign exchange service, immigration. Immigration is one of the major things that we have, we can focus on. Because you know, one company I have been dealing with that is highest private limited, that is in Delhi, based in Delhi. Before COVID, they had only 27 employees. And after COVID, now just a few days back, the CEO, he came to my office. I asked him how many people you have right now. He said 72. So you can imagine how the growth is and how these people are being. Obviously, there is a big market. Because of that market, only the people are being catered. Now, foreign exchange is one part. Even you know, when we go for a foreign travel, if you go for a richer country, obviously we have to have uh, insured. We have to get ourselves insured. So that insurance is also one of the major part. 
you know, if I make a ticket, if I tell you, genuinely, if I make a domestic ticket, I can earn hardly 60 to 70 rupees per ticket per person in a domestic ticket. But if I make an international ticket, I get around <coughs> 800 to 1800 rupees per ticket per person. But for an insurance, if you were to make it, like somebody wants to go to Schengen area, Schengen country, like European countries, US, UK, Australia, even in our Southeast Asia, even if they go for a longer period, maybe one month, two months, three months, you know, US and UK and all these European countries, they people used to go for longer period, mostly studies or other purpose. What insurance coverage? Insurance premium will cost you around 20,000 rupees and you are getting commission of around 6,000 rupees out of it. This is quite bureaucratic. But the thing is that you cannot survive with only the insurance part. You have to have all the things. That is why you have to just build your skill, develop your skill in all the parts. All the parts, how to go forward. Like ticketing is one part, already I said. But if you know the Gallia, Amidius, Wallspan, or any other, it's an added advantage for you if you go for. Because these are all command based, these are all real time booking, and it has no bias, no fault, no loop faults. You can get direct, you can see the insights of the aircraft, you can see how many seats are available, how many seats can be booked. What are the seats available, front side, back side, middle side, everywhere? Everything you can see it is visible. And it's quite easy for anyone to book the tickets. And at the same time, you can make some own route because these are all command based. Command based. You know, we are all familiar with the internet ticketing right now. Maybe everybody is using, everyone is using, like, uh, make my trip. Go we go, booking.com, or maybe clear trip or sky scan, a lot of lot of. But these are what these are all third party booking, third party. Third party in the sense, they pick up all the information from all the airlines and they will deliver it in front of your screen. It takes around two to three seconds. But here these are all real-time booking. Real-time booking means whatever you see, this is the exact position. Even two systems. If you block four seats, immediately you'll find, and the next system you'll find that four seats is no more. Four seats are no more. So that way. So that is the benefit of learning specialized uh, courses. And these are very short term courses, not very big, very long. So you can go with this. This is ticketing. Secondly, yeah. All the internet ticketing, all the online ticketing are made through certain specific route. Specific route. How many of you are from the geography background? How many? Only one, two. No more? How many of you have studied geography? Because geography is your major thing. <coughs> Geography is your first part, first part. If you don't know geography, you will not be able to send someone to somewhere in the international level, international travel. <coughs> someone, is, someone is saying that I want to go to Southeast Asia. Finally, if you don't know geography, you might send him to the Middle East, or maybe Far East, Japan, or maybe Taiwan, or maybe somewhere else. Right? So that is why. And secondly, the part is, if you know geography, you can define your own route. While making own routes, I'm just giving you certain tips. You know the oil, the fuel, aircraft fuel. Fuel is very cheaper in Middle East. Middle East, that is Gulf countries. That is cheaper. Cheaper in comparison to almost one tenth of our price. So obviously when a person travels to Haya Middle East, Obviously, the flight fare will cheaper. Flight fare will cheaper. Now the thing is that you have to understand which are the flights travel through Gulf countries, through 
show that countries. You have to understand. So only that part you have to know. And which are the countries located in Gulf? Because Gulf, that is OPEC countries, oil and petroleum exporting countries, right? So they are the highest producer of oil. So they have very less price, less fuel price. For example, to reach Gulf from India, it takes hardly three to four hours. But from Gulf, there are, because Gulf countries, rich country, they are very good. They had a very good connectivity between entire Western countries, right? USA, Europe, all the places. UK, USA, Europe, everywhere they have a very good connection. And these connections are longer duration, like there's a long haul flight. Long haul in the sense, if you go from India, it is four hours, but from there, it'll be maybe 20 hours, 18 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours. So you can imagine how much fuel will be consumed. And if that fuel is cheaper, if you get at a cheaper price, just like us, when we would travel to Ceylon, we always put our fuel in Kanapura because it is almost three rupees cheaper than in Bahati. We, we are only for that particular travel. We make maybe profit of around 60, 70 rupees and we are happy because we, we saved 70 rupees. So obviously in a flight also, because these are competitive flight competition now all over the world. So they travel, they have lots of competition, a lot of service issues are there because of that. It's a GDS carrier. How many of you know GDS and LCC? Anybody? Anybody? You know anybody? anyone? Tourism students. See, a few things I always try to remember. I always tell my, my students, even whoever comes to me, I always say that you don't need to know everything, but you have to say, yes, I heard it. I heard it. If I say, what is Togo? What is Benin? What is Sierra Leone? There is no way sister of San Leone. Okay, <laughs> these are all three African countries. Now people started going to those countries, small, small countries, small, small countries. Now the thing is that when I said Togo, Benin, Sierra Leone, now Togo, there are so many small, small identity countries are there in the ocean and group. At least you can say yes, it's a country. I heard it somewhere. That's enough. Even the map study. I learned five years map. I belong to my mathematics background, but I studied map like anything because people comes to say some means. I never heard some names. So I had to work hard to find out where is the location first. So that is why I studied geography. Today, at least I can say that yes, 187 countries, which are sovereign countries, I can spot. Of seven continents. 54 countries, 55 countries in Asia, 54 countries in Africa, then we have Europe, we have North America, South America. I, mean, I can at least I can say that yes, I heard this country is European country. That's it. So no need to be very, very specific. Only the thing is that if you understand. That is enough. These are the words. Like our, you know, in a hospital industry, everybody, if I say, what is CP plan, what is MIP plan, what is EP plan, everybody will say that, yes, we know. Yes or no? Right? Everybody knows. Now the thing is that same thing we have to understand here. LCC is low cost carrier. Low cost carrier was introduced in 1985. And uh, Till now it is going on. Low cost carrier means it is their motto is anybody can fly. Anybody can fly. And this is their they, they sell their seats, they sell their tickets only as per ticket. No other benefits. No other services. That is low cost carrier. That means we are going to give you a ticket where you will get you will be assigned a seat. 
not necessarily that front row, back row, whatever, middle, nothing. But you have to purchase everything. Food has to be purchased. Any other service you have to buy. Buy extra pay. You know, front seat, 1000 rupees. Second seat, 450 rupees. Third seat, 350 rupees, like that. Every seat you have to purchase. But GDS, it's a global distribution system. Global distribution system has the network of almost 7,578 airports. It has a connection all over the world. 7,578 airports. It is connected through global distribution system. Do you imagine sometimes a flight from India cannot, from India, no flight goes to all the directions, like all 187 countries, 180 countries, 190 countries, no. Everybody has a tie up with someone. These are called code sharing. Means I will take you to a particular place. From there, another flight will take you. From there, another flight will take you. So, like that. So, these are all flight connectivity. And these are called global distribution systems, GDS. This GDS has full service flight. Full service means sit, you can select of your own food and beverage you will get. During the trip, you will get everything. Even the personalized assistance. Sometimes, if you put a remark that the, the person is a first time traveler, he needs assistance, they will give you assistance. If you need an airport taxi, they will provide GDS carrier. And this GDS carrier can be booked through CRS, that is, computerized reservation system, which is already, as said, Galileo. Amadeus and all. Very simple. If you see, and then I want to reach fancy budget from here. The Google will show you certain routes. One may be via Lakota, one may be via Dorshu, one may be via Kanapara, maybe via Jalukbari. But when you are using Zidias, you can define your own route. You will. You can say, I'll go to Pamohi, I'll go to Rani, from Rani I'll take road. That's my decision. I can take longer road, maybe. But still, I want to go through that road. It's up to you. So that is the advantage of CRS. That is the advantage of going, booking through this. And this is very helpful for international ticketing. Because international tickets are defined only for certain routes, internet. In the internet, if you want to go to Mexico, the flight will show you first Delhi, Turkey, maybe Istanbul, Istanbul to Mexico. Delhi, London, London, Mexico. Sometimes Delhi, New York, New York, Mexico. But I want to go via Gulf. It's my choice. I can go to Delhi, Qatar, Qatar, London, London, Mexico. I can do that because it is in my hand. Because I will put command, whatever command I give, the flight will show me that route. That is the advantage of shares. So, secondly, small, small things I will tell you. Um, I'm talking about before COVID. Why we need to know about foreign exchange? How many of you are familiar with foreign exchange? Foreign exchange. Why is this called foreign exchange? <coughs> if you want to travel abroad, you need to need have foreign money, right? Because Indian money you cannot use it. You have to have. But you have to have the specific foreign money. Because every time you have to get exchanged. In India, if you want to go to US, you have to exchange your money, Indian money, to US dollar. If you want to go to London, you have to exchange your money to British pound, ZBP. If you want to go to Europe, you can convert your money from Indian money. You can deposit the Indian money and get Euro like that. Similarly, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, Chinese yuan, or all this. Now the thing is that where there is no currency available in India, because India is also marketing the currencies, selling the currencies. RBI is the governing authority, 
IPA purchase all those currencies from the foreign countries. Now, when they purchase, they have to see which are the selling fast, moving fast, because they don't want to keep it dumped in their store, strong room. They want to sell it. So, which are the highest selling currencies? Just now, you know, Thailand is one of the most popular destination. So, there is, that is called Thai baht, THB. Thai baht is a very popular <laughs> currency. So, India government starts giving Thai baht because you will pay Indian money and get Thai baht. But at the same time, if you don't take Thai baht, you can take US dollar also. Because US dollar is said to be the universal currency. Universal currency. You can use it anywhere in the world. Within, but the thing is that exchange money. Just now, just like you know, making a draft, there is a draft commission, 50 rupees, 100 rupees, or something like that, while making draft or bank up check. Same thing. If you buy foreign currency in India, if you buy, you are going to Thailand. If you buy directly Thai baht, then you will get the exchange only one time. You pay the exchange rate. But if you buy US dollar, then you are going to spend it again in Thailand. Means once you put give it to the Thailand vendor, they will give you again exchange to Thai baht. That means you are losing two times Thai baht. It means exchange money. That is why you have to have the basic idea about which is the currency, what is the currency, which country you are traveling, and whether this currency is available in India or not, and how to check it. How to check it, whether this currency is available or not. Now, you know, this is one of the most promising departments. One of our students, he started his career as a foreign currency vendor, means in a company, as a first person, means local representative, he started in 2000, I think around 14 or 15, as a salesperson of foreign currency. Today, he is heading, he is the regional manager of that foreign currency office with 42 staffs, 42 people under him. And they are having branches over Agatala, Tripurgar, Shillong, all these places. Why? Because they are earning like anything. And he made his means everything. He purchased flat, he purchased car, he got married, everything he did. So like that. Now, why we need to know the foreign currency and their value? I'll tell you one incident. Before COVID, in 2019, one group of people, they traveled to Vietnam. Anybody knows what is the Vietnamese currency? Who said? Yes. Vietnamese dong. VND. Uh, that is one of the weakest currency. In the world, the weakest currency is Iranian real. That is the weakest. But dong is also one of the weakest currency. Dong. The thing is that the person who had given them the foreign currency, because dong was not available, because dong, if you carry dong, it's a heavy, high volume, high volume currency. Means currency is like in three rupees, almost it is around three, uh, 280 rupees. Dong is means 280 dong is equal to one rupee in India. So you can imagine if you carry 50,000 rupees, how much dong it will be. It will be in crores. So crores means it is very difficult to carry because crores is also it has a volume currency notes. And that group they traveled, they said that time dong was not available in Guwahati. So he carried maybe from some vendor. Vendor was not aware that he is going to Vietnam. He was looking for um, US dollar. He had given me US dollar, hundred dollar note. He carried hundred dollar note when he reached. It was a Saturday. He went to the market to exchange. Whenever the, somebody sees the hundred dollar note, he said, "Sorry, I don't have exchange." So finally, he had to manage the day with the local uh, hoteler. And on Monday, because Vietnam has a has a means uh, the area is a humid area, so quite warm. 
He was just wearing a t-shirt and a short. And he went to the bank in the morning at 10.30. He went to the bank. And uh, after giving, he said that, let me take $500 exchange because it's very difficult to get all the money here. He had given $500. And when the cashier took out the money, it's a big bunch. <laughs> and he has no carry back. He didn't have any carry back because he never thought that it would be that much. And what he did, he folded his t-shirt, put all the currency in his left, and he went back to his. This is the incident. I can name the person also, but the thing is that it's not good. So this has happened. And why this happened? Because it is a small lacking from the side. Maybe there's a miscommunication between the financial handler and the, and the traveler. The traveler should have said that I am going to Vietnam. I don't know whether I said or not, but... And secondly, the vendor should have understood that Vietnam is a very weak currency, like Indonesia. If you go there, the volume will be very high, so better you have to carry $5, $10 notes, small, small denomination notes, currency notes. That would have been much more beneficial for him. But instead of that, he has given $100 notes. And which is $100 means approximately, I think, that time it was 78 crore or something like that. Get them down. It came out. So, like that. So, that is why we have to have those basic ideas, basic small, small ideas, which is quite useful because this is a service industry. In every service comes, every service. If you are going to a particular destination, you have to understand what destination it is. Whether warm, cold, because basically we know a few things, like whenever we think about going to Kashmir, immediately we will just pack up our jackets, blazers or whatever, cap and gloves and all, because we know that we are going to Kashmir. And whenever we think of going to Goa, obviously the bag will be smaller, because we will be carrying only less clothes, because these are all these destinations. So we will not, we'll not carry the leather shoes, leather shoppers and all, we will not carry it because we are going to be in the attachment of sea and water. So, similarly you have to have the idea when you go to Indonesia, when you go to uh, France, Paris, maybe Czech Republic, Prague, you have to understand where you are going. What is the location of that particular area? Is it a hilly area, mountain area, or is it a coastal area, or is it a landlock area, or what? So those things. If you suggest, like inbound tour, I'm talking about inbound tour, when people come to notice, we mostly focus on Karnataka, Hyderabad, I mean, Telangana, means Andhra, both. That, um, Maharashtra and Gujarat, we, we focus on those uh, targeted zone. They are our targeted zone. When they come, they say, even one group is coming on night, they say, what are the things to carry? What are the things to carry? When you are going to Serapunji, obviously, it is quite expected that you will be getting ready to follow the day. If you don't get this, bonus, it's luck. Some people, they love to see the rain because they have never experienced rain. Like a group came from Bahrain and they first they came to uh, Sikkim, Gangtok. From Gangtok, they extended to Northeast. When they went to Charapunji, after that, they had cancelled their ticket and they extended their stay for another three days because they were drinking at the rain. Because they didn't see. They found the rain so interesting and they like, like that. So, these are the certain, certain things that we had to focus. Like, you know, there is a flight going from Guwahati to Bangkok every twice a, twice a week. It's a direct flight. It's a third attempt. It's a fourth attempt, in fact. First Indian Airlines were there. But all the airlines, it, it has not continued for longer. Do you know why? Do you have any idea why it is not continued? Earlier also, it was no clear. It was seized. It was sit down. Then before that, Air India was there. It was sit down. Means seized the operation. 
Why? Because the knowledge, even if I ask you, anybody here, do you heard about Krabi, Phuket, Pattaya, Bangkok? Everyone knows. Everyone knows because these are our very favorite destination. Maybe we'll definitely will try to go there. Whoever doesn't go, whoever not going till now. Similarly, if you ask, because I have been to Bangkok in many occasions uh, for promotion, tourism promotion for North East, tourism promotion for Government of India, and uh, I was a member of ENDP. ENDP means Entrepreneurship Development Program. I represent India also that time. Never heard Ceylon. Why did you forget? They know only up to Calcutta. They don't know anything about after Calcutta, beyond Calcutta. Even recently, I came back from OTM. Have you heard the name OTM? <coughs> OTM. My God, I will cry. <laughs> travel fair. This is not only the travel and tourism, it is all about the information that you should have. OTM, SATE, TTF, ITF, OT, WTM, ITB, these are all travel players. OTM is one of the largest travel platform. It's a travel fair here. It's held uh, in Mumbai. Uh, just recently in eight, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, four days in Geo Convention Center in uh, Mumbai. It's a calendar event every year. Already they have even the next year. 24, 25, 26, January 25. Same OGM will be held in Mumbai. ITB, Mum ITB Mumbai is coming up in September. SATE. SATE, S-A-T-T-E. Anybody? No. S-A-T-T-E. South Asian Travel and Tourism and Travel Exchange Program. This is a travel fair. These are once you go there, then you will understand. Then you will understand huge convention center. Maybe, maybe, see in Geo Convention Center, it is one of the largest in the Southeast Asia actually. Geo Convention Center, that is our company's convention center. From one, one gate to another gate, you have to take taxi. Such a big convention center. Means you can walk. No doubt about it, but it will be too, too difficult to walk. Such a big convention center, 150 tourism countries, countries, they came, they make their pavilion here, showcasing their products. Almost 100 plus airlines, they come, they show, showcasing their New upcomings, like you know, Emirates Airways, Emirates Airways. Where from it is? UAE. Yes, it is from UAE, United Arab Emirates. There are two airlines. One is Etihad, one is Emirates. Emirates belong to Dubai, and Etihad belong to Abu Dhabi. Both are from UAE. That means. Just small tips. Whenever somebody says that I am going to London by Emirates, that means from India you will be touching Dubai. From Dubai you will go to London. When somebody says that I am going from by Etihad, it means you will be going from India to Abu Dhabi, then Abu Dhabi to London. Like that. So these are small, small things that we have to understand. WTM, World Travel Mart, that is a calendar event from 7th to 10th of November every year in London. ITB Berlin from 7th to 11th of March every year, Germany. So these are certain travel fairs. What will you get? You will get the exposure. You know, we do tourism marketing. Right now, I have around three groups moving. One is in Dubai, one is in Vietnam, and uh, one is in uh, Maldives. I don't have any link with those things. These are all suppliers. This is called suppliers. 
we cannot offer it because I have my license only in within India. But the thing is that my travel, my my guest, they are traveling to Vietnam. That means we have somebody at Vietnam. Once you land up in Hanoi Airport, that they will take care of everything, and we make a WhatsApp group, and we get all the updated information. Because it is very difficult for someone to operate all over the world. It is not easy to operate, execute tour, pro, tour packages all over the world. It's not easy. But the thing is that it made us, it made, made us easy because we have all suppliers from all these corners. How do you meet? How do you find that this is a genuine or not? We met them. We meet them only in OTM, SATE, ITF, TTF, travel fairs, everywhere. We exchange our cards. We meet them. We discuss with them how to promote, what are the things, what are the new upcoming. Secondly, road shows. Every year, you know, Guwahati is a tea tree, tire tree, tire tree city. So far, tourism is concerned. What is a tire tree city? The tire one, that is all metro cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta, Chennai, Bangalore, and Hyderabad, these are the tire one cities. After that, the next cities, tire two was like Kanpur, Pune, uh, Cochin, like those. Now, Guwahati. Guwahati, Patna, Bhubaneswar, these are tire tree cities. People are focusing on tire tree cities because now it is no need to promote in Delhi, but you see, sir, we are from Germany, we are to promote Germany. Delhi people, they know. They know very well because means I'm talking about the general public. They know, they are aware of other the things. Now they are trying to focus on the small, small segment, tire tree. Tire tree is Guwahati. So they used to come to Guwahati, hold Road shows. Road shows means it's not on the road. They will hire a hotel in the conference hall, maybe banquet hall. They will arrange lunch, dinner, or whatever. And they will invite all the tour travel fraternity people. Means who are dealing in international. Recently, like Thai Tourism, Thai Tourism Board, they came to Bahati held their road show in the hotel. Yes. Before that, Singapore Tourism Board, they came to tradition too. Like that, they, they keep their meetings in those places. And uh, some of, when students are with me, when they come to my office for internship and all, during that period, if any road shows takes place, I used to take them. Let's go and see how it is how they do the presentation. This is not only the presentation, see, all of us, we know about Singapore, we know about Thailand, we know about uh, France, Germany, or London, or everywhere, what are the things available, what are the things to see, what are the attractions. But the thing is that they try to just create an environment, create an awareness, because you might forget. So just to brush up. Every year they will come, they will show you. Singapore is the only country, they come with innovative ideas. Every year they come with different, different things. They say, when you have visited last, last visited this day. Okay, now we have changed this. These are the new products that are coming up. It's already launched. It is there in Singapore. So you can tell your guest to do for this, like that. So this up to that information, you can get it from TTF, ITF, OTM, even IITM. This is Indian International Travel Mart for Northeast. This is a special event takes place in Northeast. Every year, it uh, helps in different, different places. It will, like, sometimes it is in Meghala, next in Assam. Last in Assam, it was Guwahati in 2015. After that, it was held in Agatala, Imphal, then in Shillong last year it was 
held in Ceylon, like that. In this IITM, foreign companies, foreign buyers, critics, bloggers, bloggers, influencer, all people they come. And we used to give fair trip, India government. We have lots of schemes. Government of India is pumping money like anything. Anything. There are huge amount of money. Government of India has invested for the tourism in the tourism industry. If I can assure that I need 50 members from the foreign country, I want to bring them to show them not history. India government will say, go ahead. We are going to give them their air ticket, accommodation, everything. Only you have to do the logistic like transport service from your side. That we have to do. Rest of the things, government of India will pay. And government of India will not buy to pay 5 crore, 10 crore, 15 crore. Because it's a government money. They will pay. They will give them in five star hotels, but they will definitely ask in the next year what is the productivity. When I brought them, if I bring them here, definitely they will expect in return that how many people they came to Mahati or they come to Northeast. Like that. So these are monitoring, even monitoring things are also parallel, but government of India is paying. Even if you want to Print some brochures. If you need some photographs, rare photographs, you can get it from the government of India, tourism department. They will give you all the photographs. They will give you all the brochures printed. Everything they will print it for you. This is called Marketing Development Assistance, MDA. These schemes are going on. Going on. Even if you try to promote Northeast anywhere, our wherever. Just the zero that I have been traveling to this, 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 this place, not from with my money. It's all government of India's money. They, they send us to promote Northeast. Because we go there, we promote Northeast, obviously. Because the tourism department people, they cannot say, they cannot inform anything about costing or whatever. That is only we because we are the tour operators, we can immediately, we can calculate, we can tell them that this is the, this is the costing, this much you have to pay. Then you can visit Northeast like that. How many nights required to visit Northeast? What are the places to visit? What are the uh, attractions we can see? All those things can be uh, shared by Tour operator only. So that is why I just want to tell you that these are the opportunities you have to grab it. Visa service immigration now every year around 8.9 lakh people take travel outside of Assam. 8.9 lakhs. It's not a small amount. And they need visa. <coughs> Most of the visas are. You know, some visas are, some countries they have given us visa free for Indians, visa free. Uh, at present, 63 countries are there, which is, has, which has visa free for Indians. But the rest of the countries, they need visa. So you have to identify what visa you need, what type of visa, what is the category of the visa, what is the cost of the visa, where to apply, what are the additional documents, because you have to have a document you must be a document advisor for that. So visa, visa is a very, very important part for it for a travel. People used to come to you and they will ask, please, please, for the God's sake, just check my all documents and make it true, because they want to travel once for a lifetime. A lot of people, a lot of students, they go to USA. Now there is, there is a. <laughs> Crisis of appointment in US going on. You will not get US appointments till 2026. Any appointment. Only the special appointments are given for the students, scholars. These are called, you have to identify, these are called F1 visa, Z1 visa, Z1, Z2, F1, F2. 
and our tourism and business, this is B1, B2, as I already closed. Only you will get it in 2026 or maybe 25 in like that. So these are very difficult situation. But many people, many students, they go to go for study to UK, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, all these places. How to get a visa? They are ready to pay. They are ready to pay all the money, whatever expenses. So this is one of the my, my, what to say this one of the uh, other department that you can focus on. You can be a very good visa document advisor, means immigration advisor. Once you become an expert, you know how to do the documentation and all. Yes, people will run after you. I learned the visa on the reverse way. I just checked what is the circumstance that leads to visa rejection or visa revision. I came back from the reverse side. So you have to seal those loopholes. You know, nowadays, as, as on that, anybody between the age of 20 to 50 years, unmarried, unemployed, wants to travel alone, you will not get even single any visa. Even the, even the most easiest visa also you will not get. Traveling alone, unemployed, and uh, within the age group of that. So you have to identify why they are refused, why their visas are refused, so you have to understand. So these are the certain things that you can focus on, like ticketing is a part, tour package is a part, tour package has inbound, outbound boat, inbound has only northeastern, outbound has domestic outbound, international outbound, you have to have the product knowledge, and of course, uh, international is much more attractive because you will earn more. Because from every department you will earn. From ticket you will get commission. From hotel booking you will get additional commission. From transport, transfer, there also you will get commission. Foreign exchange you will get commission from foreign exchange. Visa assistance you will get additional services for visa assistance. Then finally, travel insurance, you will get commission from travel insurance. So put together in one, one lakh package, you will earn almost 10 to 15,000. That is what the basic calculation I have seen. So get ready. I hope you people will understand the importance of tourism industry. And uh, lastly, I'd like to tell you only one thing. I don't know whether you need a job in tourism or not, but tourism needs you. Tourism industry needs the professional who are officially trained, professionally trained. Now, government of India, government of Assam, they made it mandatory that anybody, even if you go for government of India registration, they will say you have to have minimum 20 years experience in any Government of India recognized tour operation house, then only you will get this license approval. Otherwise, if you must have tourism degree. So one tourism degree is equivalent to 20 years of experience, you can imagine. So that is, just try to value your degree. So join the industry and uh, get benefited. I feel like it's, Opportunity is unlimited. Sky is the limit. You can go up to any extent. And uh, once in a time, I used to tell him, my brother is a professor, elder brother, and he used to say that I earn this much. And I used to tell him, I pay this much as salary. So that is the difference between earn and pay. Here, you will get the exposure. Obviously, nationally, internationally, everywhere, you will get. You will get to, every now and then, you have to have the passport. 
and the thing is that you have to have the passport, then only you will be able to travel abroad. So, take the decision, and uh, obviously I'll give you the PPT, which I brought. I'll give it to you, maybe Sundar, Mbajbara sir, or maybe Indrajit sir, or maybe, maybe Sajid sir. Sajid sir, you know, I, I know him from almost 10 to 12 years back. He was working with me also in my academy. So later he went to Dibogar and all. He's a pro tourism person. He's a very knowledgeable person. So you will get to learn many things from him. And he's very informative. His GK is also quite good. Quite good. I appreciate that. So you should come up with the basic things, like this information. You have to have this information. I'm really uh, wonder that being a tourism student, how you don't know TTF, ITF, because you have to engage yourself in those uh, events. In events. Even I'm, I'm sure uh, this time in November again, ITM will be held in Guwahati. Uh, it is expected. Once it is held in Guwahati, you know, all the foreign buyers, foreign travelers, we have to give two protocol officers with them. One is from government and one is from student uh, force. So right from the airport, they will keep on asking questions. What is this? What is that? Why it is? Where is all this? What is the Kamaka temple? Why it is here? What are the things, story about behind the Kamaka temple or maybe other things? So it is a great exposure. Our earlier students, they, they got very good exposure with foreign <coughs> uh, tour operators. So I think everybody is getting bored, right? So I had to wrap up. If you need any other information, just open up. Just say whatever, whatever I can do for you. Or if any information you need, I can give it. Now up to 30 crore, Government of India is giving 30 crore amount without any collateral uh, security. You can go to any bank for tourism startups. You have to have the MSME registration. Anyone know MSME? Yes. Micro, small and medium enterprises. So if you have the registration with industries department and you can apply to your bank, that I want to start up this project with tourism venture, whatever the tourism venture. Yeah, you, are, you are entitled to get 30 crore without any collateral security. Collateral security, you know, earlier, that is you have to provide land as mortgage, maybe some other documents, valuable documents as mortgage. Now it is not required. Government of India make it free. Secondly, there are lots of girls, girls, the girl power, the woman empowerment. If boy is getting 2.5 lakhs, girl is getting 3 lakhs. They give more to the girls and they want women entrepreneurship. Women de entrepreneur development, community development, all these sectors, government is focusing. So, just try to grab this opportunity. And this is the right time I'm telling you because UNWTO says next 30 years, the tourism will be the top economy. So next 30 years means you can easily grab this opportunity if you start this now. So that is it from my side. If you have anything in your mind, only one thing I'm telling you, you can increase your everything, brain capacity by interacting always. Because the thing is that we are from the tourism department or travel industry, we sell our mouth. Vocabulary should be very strong. Whatever. Communication, maybe. Matlab, I want Bulgaria. 
you can use any language, but the thing is that the other person has to understand what you are trying to say. I have been to Indonesia, I went to Java. I met, I stayed in a homestay in Indonesia. We had a very nice laugh because the owner, his wife and me, we sat together, we had our dinner. We were laughing like anything because whatever I ask him, he doesn't understand. Whatever he says, I do not understand. <laughs> and that is the issue. And uh, he says, okay, okay, okay. And I, I also say something. He also smiles. So that way. So at the end of the day, it was a fun and it was a nice day at the end of the day. So that is what I want all of you to experience. So it is not necessary that you have to have all language. Now linguistic is also one of the major important part because nowadays a lot of people, they, for instance, they used to come here. And uh, we have certain videos, if you want, I can share it with you. People like in Rajasthan, in Kerala, people, how they are, the tourist guides, how skilled they are. They are multi-talented, like they speak 17, 18 languages because they are handling this type of tourism. So that is it. Industry needs you. This is my last appeal. So be with the industry. Industry will give you everything, whatever you need, whatever you need. You can earn, you can spend, you can get exposure. So everything, everything. So it's up to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your informative and encouraging words. Now, I'd like to request everyone, uh, especially the students, to come up with some questions for us, sir. If anyone has any questions, please stand up. <laughs> Just now I said that uh, we are from tourism, we are travel industry, from travel industry, we sell our mouth. We don't sell Kajiranga. We sell Kajiranga with our mouth. Through our mouth, we do everything. How beautiful, fantastic. Our world is enough. Can I see Royal Bengal Tiger in Manas? My God, 140, 100 Royal Bengal Tigers. When they come back, I couldn't see Royal Bengal Tiger in Manas. Sorry, sir, actually the tigers are, you know, they are not hurting for us. They are not grassing on the field. They are under the bush. So you have to go inside the bush, then only you can see. It's not very easy to find a spotted tiger. But you can see rhinos, because rhinos, they are grassing on the field. So you can see them, like that, these are our cell, how to sell it. Because if I say, I, I keep on telling everyone, some of my students, they know, that if I say, <coughs> oh, it's a small part, it's coming. Nobody will notice, nobody. If I say, oh my God, such a cute puppy is coming, everybody will look at me through my eyes. It is my expression. That means whatever expression I give, people will follow. So how beautiful still on it. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. My God, greenery everywhere. But when you land up from uh, Barapani with traffic zone <laughs> to up to Malki or up to Molai, Three hours, 
It's not in our hand. <laughs> it is not suggested. Because already it is written. Depending on the traffic condition. <laughs> yeah. See, you can see that Sirach is so popular, millions of cars are coming. That is where this traffic so much happened. Otherwise, it would not happen. So this is also. So try to speak, try to interact. It will give you more analytical power. And I have three questions. During the lecture, only I said, and uh, there will be some prize for it. Ready? Ready? But first, you have to raise the hand and dance back. Otherwise, you cannot just shout all of you. Then I cannot identify who is the first. Ready? Okay. I said O B E C. OPEC. Country. Who can say what is OPEC country? It's a ZK. It's a ZK. If you go for any competitive exam, it will come. Which are the OPEC countries? 